So this question is a diagram question. We see the right triangle provided here. We don't really know anything about this right triangle, just that this angle is labeled as X and this angle is labeled as Y. So the question says, in the triangle above, the sine of X, so I'm gonna write that down, sine X equals 0 0.6. So because I am used to, and I suggest that you think of sine, cosine, and tangent from the perspective of SOHCAHTOA, right, which in this case with sine tells me that the sine of x or whatever degree or angle you're looking at is equal to the opposite side of that angle inside the right triangle divided by the hypotenuse, right, because we think of this as a fraction, I'm going to rewrite this as a fraction instead of as a decimal. So instead of sine x equals 0 0.6, I'm going to say sine x equals 6 tenths, which of course can be reduced to sine x equals 3 fifths. Now that helps me with my diagram strategy because now I can label that the opposite side of the x is 3 and the hypotenuse of the right triangle must be 5. Now from here, you can use Pythagorean theorem to figure out what this bottom leg equals. Right? Or you can recall that there is a special right triangle called a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So that bottom leg must be 4. Either way, right? so even if we use Pythagorean theorem, which for what we have, we just say 3 squared plus, let's call it b squared. Let's call this side b equals 5 squared. If you do the math there, you'll find that b is equal to 4. All right, so now we have this right triangle. I'll just redraw it over here. For clarity, I have x, I have y, I have 3, I have 4, I have 5. And all of that came from just interpreting this sine x equals 0 0.6, and really the trick was turning it into 6 tenths. So then the question is really asking for the cosine of y. Well, cosine, right, from Sokotoa, the cosine of y is equal to the adjacent side to that angle divided by the hypotenuse. Well, now that we have all of these numbers here for a right triangle, we focus our attention on y and we say, well, what's, what side is adjacent to angle y? Well, that's this side here, that's three. And what's the hypotenuse? Well, that's this side here, that's five. So the cosine of y is equal to three fifths, therefore three fifths is your answer here.